Ladies, Gwen Berry placed third in the hammer throw yesterday. And as the national anthem began to play with the winners at the podium, Berry turned away from the flag so she was facing the stands. Then, toward the end of the anthem, she pulled up a black t-shirt with the words activist athlete on the front and covered her head. Berry saying, quote, I feel like it was a setup and they did it on purpose. I was pissed, to be honest. They had enough opportunities to play the national anthem, but before we got up there, it was real disrespectful. Now, according to the Associated Press, the national anthem has been played every night for the past week at the track and field trials, but the anthem is not played during medal ceremonies like it is during the Olympics. A USA track and field spokeswoman saying, quote, the national anthem was scheduled to play at 5.20 p.m. We didn't wait until the athletes were on the podium for the Hammer Throw Awards. The national anthem is played every day according to a previously published schedule. Here we go again with protest. And guys, it's very interesting. For the record, Gwen Berry is out there. She gets upset about it. Now, it's played every day around 520. It was five minutes late. It looks like 525. She gets mad. She turns her back on the National Anthem to be accurate about her past. She is an activist. Two years ago, in 2019, at the Pan American Games, she raised her fist, which was first done in 1968 by two American runners, John Carlos and uh, Tommy Smith. And there's a sanctioning for it because the Olympics put in a rule that says you can't protest during the uh, podium or the opening and closing ceremonies. This certainly suggests what she may do if she makes it to Tokyo. So, you know, what are your thoughts? Oh, Griff, I feel like this is a classic example of, like, it's not about you, girl. Like, she comes out and says, oh, they're clearly playing the anthem because I was there. It was a setup. It was so disrespectful. They knew it was all about me. I just feel like telling her the anthem is so much bigger than you. And the U.S. Olympic trials is so much bigger than you. So she can do what she wants, but there's going to be accountability. And here's the thing, you guys. Remember that while the U.S. Olympic, Olympic Committee has promised not to uh, sanction any athlete that does demonstrate at the podium there or in the Paralympic Games, the International Olympic Committee, to your point, Griff, still will maintain upholding that rule that, that prohibits demonstration. So if she gets on the podium in Tokyo and if she chooses to, dem to, to demonstrate again, then she might be facing a global backlash for that. Tarsh, you are a professional athlete. You've been a professional athlete. I want to take you back to opening day in baseball here in Washington. The, all the entire uh, Nats team there knelt during the National Anthem July 24th. The next day, the Nats were playing the Yankees. They knelt again. It's professional athletes agreeing to have their protest during the opening of the game. But yet, it's not a professional athlete on the world stage, as Emily points out, representing the great nation we are. Do you draw a distinction there? Uh, no, I don't. And quite honestly, I don't care when the national anthem was played. It doesn't matter. 520, 415, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to give you some names here. Uh, we had some. We've had some issues in this country, especially as a black man. But I go to Tommy Smith, John Carlos, Jesse Owens, who they had issues. They fought. They wanted dignity, but they also wanted a seat at the table. They wanted to show how much they love their country, how much they belong, and human rights issues, and they fought for it. This isn't it. Even if we're taking a knee on the baseball game, I have no problem with a, with a professional athlete being a citizen, taking a respectful knee during the flag. If that's what you choose to do, why you still are honoring the flag? I have no issue. She turned her back on the flag. She was upset they had the gall to. What, what song would you think they're going to play at the Olympics? The, the, this, very simply, why are you even competing in the Olympics if you hate the flag and the country so much? If it's such a horrible place. Why are you doing it? I'm literally wearing the shirt of a man who didn't believe in the Vietnam War, Muhammad Ali, protested, lost two years in the prime of his career. Five years, I'm sorry. The prime of his career. And he gave it up because what he believed in. History looks back at him now as a hero. But at the time, there was consequences for his actions. And he took it because he believed in what he stood for. So if it's this bad and you're this insulted, why are you competing? Protest. Sit out. See, that's, a great, great notice. that's a great point, Tyrus. Let me go to you, Abby. If indeed Miss Berry is not able to represent uh, our country in a respectful manner, should she win a medal representing our country, 
Should she I mean, be banned from even going? I mean, these are the trials. She isn't there yet, but clearly she's suggesting what she may do, which is to, as Tyrus points out, make it about herself. Yeah, well, to answer your question, I'm just going to echo what Emily and Tyra said, that when you go to the Olympics, you're not just representing yourself. You're representing an entire country. And stories like this really bother me because I've had the honor of spending time with our military men and women. And listen, and I've had the opportunity to listen to the stories that they have, you know, veterans, the types of things that they see. And when you turn your back on the flag like that, you're turning your back on the men and women who put their lives on the line every single day so that you have freedoms. You're turning your back on something that drapes the coffin of military men and women who make the ultimate sacrifice, leave their family members behind so that you have the opportunity to even exercise your freedom of speech. So it really bothers me when people do this, the blatant disrespect to, you know, those men and women, and quite honestly, I just, I wish that she would go down to Arlington Cemetery, maybe talk to a wounded warrior, a veteran, and spend time reflecting on how her actions do not advocate for a United States of America. You're pushing my buttons. One of the greatest songs I had for Fox was to document Marines in the invasion of Iraq in 2003 and on the night. Four died. I bore witness to it. They were white and black. And you're right. They fight for the uh, folks like Gwen Berry to protest. Real quickly, in the time we have left, is it also unfair to athletes from other countries who are there to represent their countries in these special moments to bring honor home for them if an American is making about themselves, particularly if it's a bronze medal, have you disrespected the gold and silver medalists? Emily? Griff, I think that's such a great question, especially when you look at the, quote, injustices in our country, uh, in contrast to those in other countries that are truly facing, for example, in China, concentration camps, actual uh, systemic extinguishing of entire races. It's absolutely important. There are certain countries where you are put to death for being homosexual. The list goes on. So I, ag I agree with you that to sort of make it about yourself, to echo my colleagues' points, to disrespect the flag in that way, and also to have zero perspective of what that global landscape looks like. It's just one more example of, of these athletes making it all about themselves and refusing to honor the rest of those who served this, served this country and served that flag and for all it stands for. All right, in the last 30 seconds I got, just to get the pulse of everybody on the panel, Tyrus, what do you say, unfair or fair to protest at the uh, Olympics? That's the beautiful athletes. thing about our country is we can do things like that because we are a country of freedoms. You can love the military and have an issue with what's going on in our government. I think you can you can respectfully protest something like a taking a knee or raising a fist to acknowledge those of, that need help. But to turn your back on the flag, why be there? Abby, unfair. Well, I, again, I think Tyra said it perfectly. It's about respect, and, you know, we have freedoms in this country. You can protest. You can disagree with anything you want. But I just hope that moving forward, people realize that the way that they protest sometimes is more divisive and doesn't mm -hmm. advocate for change. It's not that you do it. It's how you do it. Such a good point. All right, guys, coming up.